Hello, everyone. I appreciate the opportunity of presenting in front of you. My name is Aaron Weinberg, and I'm the founder of Celsia, as well as the founder of a company called Inclusive Design and Development. Uh, I'll talk to you today about creating success through design and innovation and what that means. So a little bit about myself. I went to a school called Pasadena Art Center College of Design, where I studied product design. This is where I really understood the design process as well as what it meant to really create innovative products. Um, this was also where I really started to discover my passion for creating products in the healthcare space that could really empower people and improve their lives in many different ways than creating another gadget or widget. Um, and this is also where I found my passion for creating Celsia, and this is where I began my process, my journey to getting to where I am today. But after I graduated around 2006, I've created about uh, over 100 products ranging from children's toys, consumer electronics, healthcare products. I've helped clients from, from understanding market needs, market opportunities, to conceptualizing products, the development and manufacturing as well as distribution. I've even had my opportunity to create a product of my own, which I took from concept to selling all over the world uh, within six months of launch. I ended up selling that product. But I, I really knew I had success when not only was my product knocked off in China, but they also knocked off my name. <laughs> so I knew this was the right opportunity for me to, to kind of get back into what my true passion was, my, my vision, which was creating Celsia. And today, Celsia, we design and develop health and wellness solutions for family caregivers and, and really anybody who's managing their health conditions. Um, we have a few different solutions, but the one we're mainly focusing on right now is called Celsia Life, which we're transitioning into a nonprofit called A Place to Care. Uh, a Place to Care is a social platform for family caregivers to find support, resources, and tools uh, to better care for their loved ones as well as themselves. But our goal really is to make the platform smart. We use a personalization algorithm that will help guide them through the process because sifting through information is really not what people want to do and finding specific needs. And I'll, I'll tell you why that's important in terms of making the process simple. So what is the process of innovation? And in order to understand what innovation is, innovation really is taking a, a, a leap towards improving a experience or a product or a, uh, a solution or a system. It's, it's not necessarily a product. It could be an emotion. It could be many different forms, but you're creating something new that improves somebody's life. So the process of innovation begins, of course, with the discovery. The discovery phase is when you are observing, you, you, you see where the market opportunity is. And you do that by observing what people are doing, what their needs are, how are they doing things. It's not about asking, it's about, because most people don't know what they need, it's about working closely with them and understanding personally and, and using a lot of psychology to extract information that you may not, they may not tell you. Um, the second phase is the design. It's taking that information and putting it into a, a concept. You're designing the, uh, the experience. What's the emotional aspect? What's the user experience? A lot of psychology goes into this phase in terms of how do people perceive this product? How do, you know, how will they purchase this product? How will they, uh, how will they experience the, you know, there's a lot of emotion in, in creating products that you have to have. As well as, what's the company? What's that design of the company, that brand that, you know, who do you want to become? And then development is taking the, the concept and actually executing on it. And then, of course, the delivery. And this is the most important phase, which is you're taking all your ideas, and now you're putting it out. You're marketing it. You're distributing it. You're, act, you're getting real information about the experience of that user. So you take what you think people will experience, and then this is where you get the actual information about how they are experiencing it. And then you actually repeat that process. And you keep repeating that process, and this is kind of what that process looks like. And you'll keep repeating that process until you refine your, your product and your concept, and, and that's where you have success. But I want to go back into the, uh, the area of delivery, because this really is the most important part, especially when we're dealing with seniors or caregivers, you know, th this market. 
because we do have a lot of really great research and it's getting better over time. We do have great design and that's coming out, that's getting better over time. And, and you're absolutely right about, you know, they need to improve that experience. So innovating within the system uh, and, and each individual product is extremely important. But it's the delivery is extremely important because without the delivery, people won't know that your product exists. And without, you can have innovation, but without the delivery, you can't have success. So I, I want to kind of touch upon the, the space that we're in. Let's compare a mother who has a baby and a daughter who's caring for her father. They, they're both caregivers in a way, but a big difference is a mother is expecting to have a baby. She has time to prepare, she's planned it, and then there's a step-by-step -step process on what she needs to do each month, each week, as well as the process gets easier over time. A, a daughter who's caring for her, for her father doesn't really know she's a caregiver until she notices there's a burden. She never prepares to be a caregiver. You never think, oh, I'm, wanna, I'm gonna be a caregiver someday, right? And the process, there is no step-by-step -step process because it's such a fragmented process. And the process actually gets harder over time. So you're really dealing with multiple issues and each one is very unique. So there isn't one specific process that you can say, well, this is how you are a caregiver. And there are a lot of companies each creating solutions for each one of these problems. But what happens is, is they're all solving niche problems. And when you're solving niche problems, you're creating niche companies. And when you have niche companies, you have a fragmented marketplace. And when you have a fragmented marketplace, you don't have a brand leader. And when you don't have a brand leader, you don't, these consumers don't really know where to go to to get the products that they need. And so this challenge is really something that I've always seen as, this has been my vision. How do we create the centralized platform where people can go into and find the products and services that they need? And so what if we can take these niche products and services and resources and tools and put them under an umbrella? So we work as, in terms of a partnership and put it all under one platform. A customer comes in, a, a caregiver or a family member, somebody dealing with their health issues, comes into this one centralized location. And based on the patterns and behaviors and the algorithms and, and what people like them have experienced, we can precisely target what options they have within that area and guide them through the process, making it a little easier. And collectively, by collecting all that information, we can make that process smarter and easier over time. But we create a place where they know they can go to to find all these really cool products and gadgets and services. And so uh, I'd like to kind of end with, you know, the uh, quote from one of the greatest innovators, which is, I have, from Thomas Edison, I have not failed, I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And this really is the process of innovation because innovation is not linear. Innovation is a process of continuous refinement and improvement and, and never stopping. Even when you have success, it's never good enough. You have to keep pushing on improving what you're doing. But of course, it all starts with passion. Without passion, you know, the, this is a brutal space. You have to have passion to keep pushing forward and believing in your vision and what you're doing. So thank you. One thing I wanted to say, which I totally agree, that fragmented point, and it builds on what Kari said too, um, it's hard for entrepreneurs because investors tell them, solve a sp specific problem. You know, like, don't try to take on the world, take on your little piece of it, because that's what we can kind of quantify and my risk is lower if you do that. But for the consumer, it's really hard if every little problem you have requires working with a different service provider or a different app or a different thing you need. So one of the things we're working on up north with a long-term care provider is we're going to bring in all the startups who are doing things, or some of the best startups we've seen, who are doing things related to IADLs. If you're doing something around transportation, around medication, around communication, you know, we're going to bring around med meal planning, and we're going to bring them all in the same room, and we're going to say, we need to integrate across you. We need a system that integrates, because this ecosystem development that Kari talked about, that's what's going to make it work for the consumer. And so I think 
integration and you know ecosystems is really the next mm -hmm. step. We can't just have a bunch of little point solutions that make it hard for the consumer. Absolutely. Thanks, Aaron.